this. Do you see what's missing right here? My cell phone. So, I was traveling down the 210 right here and off my phone goes. so disappointed so we're gonna call this attempted cell phone recovery off of this fast moving 210 freeway uh, if it looks a little bit risky I won't do it but uh, the goal here is to rescue my cell phone from the freeway now I don't know exactly where it's at um, it should be right there somewhere this was the next exit so let's go take a look sad part is I wasn't in the fast lane I was in like one of the slower lanes because I'm on my slower bike today jeez louise so it's not like it bounced off to the shoulder because that would be convenient alright so I need to find a pocket of traffic that isn't so oh. So these guys are going fast. I'm to piss some people off, I know. I think there should be somewhere... Right about here. Scanning the road, scanning the road. No, nope, I don't see it. Dang it. Maybe it was under this one. But I was already past the exit. So I couldn't get off. I was too focused at looking down at what I lost. You see it right there, I believe. Yeah, I think that was it. I believe it actually did bounce to the shoulder of the road. That's lucky. <sighs> All right, so I think I saw it on the side of the road over here. saw not it some random shit in the road the nickel well I was not able to successfully locate my cell phone so now it's time to go back home review the video footage that I have here on GoPro and maybe that'll help me determine exactly where it landed. I might be able to see it with the trailing camera that I have on here today. Might be able to see exactly where it landed and maybe go back and find it. I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed that we can find the iPhone that fell out of my Ram Mount X-Grip. Happy Friday everyone. Peace.
been four days since I lost my phone out here on the highway and I'm gonna pull over real quick and take a look to see if I can't find it. It's got to be there. I reviewed the footage time and time again. I know that it should be just at the beginning of the overpass if it didn't even bounce up onto the overpass. So I want to pull over up here and see if I can't track down the cell phone that fell off my handlebars last Friday. that one. All right, so this is not it because that has three... Can't be it, can it? Day. I don't know if this is really my cell phone or not, but the chances of an iPhone 7 Plus being lost in that exact same spot are relatively slim. So I'm pretty confident that this phone that I just picked up on the side of the freeway is the sad, sad iPhone that flew off the back of this motorcycle last week. My little X-Grip mount here should have been a 3-inch arm instead of a 6-inch arm. And uh, what happened was my phone was resting here, vibrating against this arm, and probably vibrated itself right out. No bueno. I mean, it did a great job. I mobbed it through the sand, took it on a little off-road excursion, but uh, I probably should have, number one, had my tethers attached so that it wouldn't have fallen off no matter what. And number two, I probably should have checked to make sure it was secured inside the mount before I hit the highway. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you. If you like what you saw today, give it a thumbs up. If you want more action like this or just motorcycle content in general to hit your inbox, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell because that is the most important part. Anyhow, until next time, as always, take care and ride safe out there.